All right, sixth graders, in lesson 6-3, we're going to do more multiplication of fractions, but we're going to start in a different place, okay? We're going to start with some mixed numbers. So a mixed number has a whole number in it and a fraction. And the first step in this is to change it to a fraction, okay? So you need to really get good at this. Now, remember when we did this. Remember when we started with some whole numbers? And if we cut this into fourths, let's say that we have this. What number does this represent? This model? Two, what? Two, what are these? These are two holes. So all of this, and I don't know what that zero is, so just ignore that. Two holes and one, what? And four. It's one fourth. Now, what if we cut these up into fourths? How many is that? Four. Four. So now we have a total of eight. Oops, I put half. Sorry. This is one fourth. Okay, now let's go back. So we have four pieces here. Now we have eight pieces. Plus the one we had before, we have eight plus one is nine. And they're all cut into what? Fourths. So instead of two holes, now we have nine. All of them cut into fourths. Now, what operation? How could we get there to this same place with nine pieces? but using operations. Where does this eight come from? Eight fourths. Eight fourths is equal to what? Two. Yeah, two holes. So what operation is that? Right. Um, what operation is what? Division. That's division. And if we're going this way, it's multiplication. multiplication. Now, let's say that we don't have the model. Let's say that we're just starting with this. Where can we get 8 from? Max. Uh, do 2 times 4? 2 times 4. 2 holes times fourths, because we're cutting them each into 4 pieces, is 8. Then where do we get the 9 from? Daria. Add 1. Add the 1 that we already had. Add the piece that we already started with. And you get 9 fourths. Okay? That's our procedure for changing it from a mixed number to a fraction. Okay? Now in this one, it's 1 and 1 eighth. So we have to write this, in order to multiply 1 and 1 eighth times 2 and 1 third, we have to change each of these to fractions first. Okay? So, read this with me. 1 and 1 eighth, say 1 and 1 eighth, 1 and 1, one, eight. one eight times 2 and 1 third, times 2 and 1 third, equals 9 eighths, Equals nine eighths times seven thirds. Times seven thirds. Yeah, so we have to multiply by the top heavy fractions. We have to use the top heavy fractions to multiply. Okay? So, this is our procedure the whole number times the denominator plus the numerator over the denominator or using the numbers, the whole number times the denominator plus the numerator over the denominator. One times eight is eight, plus one is nine over eight. 
2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, over 3. Yeah. Okay. When we multiply, we're going to have some big numerators. You want to reduce those first. You want to think about how many 3's are in 9, because 3 and 9 have common factors, don't they? 3 3's and 1 3. Then 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 1 is 8. Oh, sorry, 8 times 1 is 8. Then convert 21 eighths to 2 and 5 eighths by dividing 21 by 8. Remainder 5 over 8. Back to a mixed number. Okay? Look at this example, number 4. 3 fourths times 6 and 5 six. Read that. 3 fourths times 6 and 5 six. Now, what do we have to do with 6 and 5 six, Ariana? <coughs> Change it to a top heavy fraction. Which one of these is a top heavy fraction of 6 and 5 6? Liz? What is 6 and 5 6 as a top heavy fraction? Common factors? No. Why? Well, how many factors does four have? Two. Well, really three if you count one. One, two, and four, right? Mm -hmm. And none of those go into 41, yeah. except for 1. We can't do anything with 1. So we can't reduce that. We have to just multiply. 1 times 41 is 41. 4 times 2 is 8. So it's 41 eighths. How many times does 8 go into 41? Bryce? How many times does 8 go into 41? Five times, that's for the whole number. Okay, what's the remainder name? What's the remainder? Uh, one. Because one, 41 minus 40 is 1. And so 41 eighths <coughs> is really what? No, as a mixed number? It's right there. Five and one eight. It's really five and one eight. You see how you get that, everybody? Everybody see how you get that? Yeah. Okay. Good. So 
that's how you have to remember you have to convert mixed numbers to top heavy fractions before you can multiply them. Okay? 